What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another What's Coming Thursday video. So what is new? Well this Thursday we're actually going to be getting a good lot of stuff. Now when I say a good lot of stuff, we are of course going to be talking about events, cards and not really anything major until eFootball 2025. They will start to kind of like lay the groundwork for eFootball 2025's transition or update. They have synced back up the match pass and the division one phase or the division phase. Also with this, with the match pass here, it is going to be ending as well. So if you haven't completed this or you want to get the value pack and you want to claim all your free rewards with this, now is your probably last time to do it. Also with the division one, division two, division three, and with any, you know, higher badges than that, if you want to earn those badges or you haven't earned Division 1 badge yet or whatever, this, as far as I know, is going to be reset, right? So with this here, with the user details, if you go in here and you see the badges that you have, there is actually going to be different badges, same badges for different phases. So if you see here, this is going to be for phase 9 and this is going to be for phase 10. So if you have already got a Division 1 badge, it's going to be this badge for phase 10, which are current standing in eFootball League, okay? So your badges is not going to carry through from phase to phase. Once the phase is reset, it's the same as the match pass. You have to start from level zero again, okay? Now, on top of the rest of that, lads, I want to talk about a couple of different bits and pieces. We know the events and all that. We know the campaigns are still going to be ongoing. And obviously, the daily game is going to be ongoing. But most people are going to probably be wondering about the contract situation, when that's going to come. That's not coming until eFootball 2025 or V4.0. They'll probably like have a week before those where 4.0 will probably usher in, you know, the groundwork for it, and then it will continue to go ahead with that, right, Um, for the next one. So, for example, if you go here and you check, check out the schedule here of what things are going to be going on for the next couple of weeks, they do already mention V4.0 in autumn 2024. So I reckon we'll have that within the next couple of weeks, and then obviously that will slowly morph into eFootball 2025. But also for the shop here, the packs and all that sort of stuff, right? The contract situation that we have here at the moment, right? So most people are now kind of accustomed, if you have been playing the game for a while, that of the packs, right? That you always get the player of the week on a Thursday with a showtime or with a special featured pack. Obviously, it's bullet header this time. But then there's also the epics. So these are either legends or epics. They're booster cards with booster skills sometimes or showtime skills, such as Bale here. They've started to mix it up a little bit. But there is a pattern that it always releases. Monday and Thursday. That's the two days for the content refresh, okay? On top of that, we have these worldwide and European national team selection. And then we do have this ending as well. So these are the nominating contracts. You can go in and sign a player, obviously, here for 100% free with the third uh, currency in the game, which is a nominating contract. Doesn't cost you anything. You can get one free every month for playing 10 games in the match pass. And you can pick whichever player that you want, right? Now, usually around this time of the year, Konami start to um, tease a couple of bits and pieces, right? So this is a tweet that they put up a couple of days ago. I'll just have to miss a second. This is a tweet that they put up a couple of days ago about, you know, new signings uh, to Bayern Munich, who are a partner club, obviously. And that's going to be probably what comes with, with this Thursday's upgrade, right? Or this Thursday's update. Um, and you can see here that the players are all featured. Now, there's a couple of little gameplay things in that that could be from a future build that we're not playing at the moment, such as the skills and stuff. But sometimes it just depends what way they cut the footage together. We'll have to see. But this is probably something that we could actually get. Now, I talked about this in last week's Thursday's update as well. It could be that we are going to get uh, transfers, player transfers that are coming in. Because obviously the season is starting next week. Um, I think it's like, what, next Friday is the first match, I think. So obviously we're starting the season back uh, where a lot of the club campaigns are going to be back already. Um, and it feels like that, yeah, it's coming very quickly. And they usually drop this around the launch of the new Premier League. And obviously, we've seen that in the past before with summer transfers here, where we had these ones with Mason Mount. This is obviously from eFootball 23 or eFootball 22 to 23. We've had it with Rudiger. We've had it with a couple of other players. But this new pack that you're going to see here, obviously, these are mock-ups that I did. Um... But this is probably what will come Thursday, I think, with the nominating contract. So they'll replace Kimmich and they'll replace a few of those boys there that we had, okay? So I do feel like that that's going to be replaced. These are going to be replaced with summer transfers and probably one more 
or else it'll be like a South American League or Player of the Month or something like that. I don't know, um, or a selection of previous Player of the Month players. But I do think that we will get it this Thursday, if not next Thursday. I do think it'll be tomorrow, though. And there'll probably be some good players in there. Whether Mbappe will come or not, who knows. But I do think that that's probably what they're going to go for um, with that. In terms of everything else then, right, you might ask, well, what else, right? Well, we've already got these remaining legends that haven't come. Now, these, you know, Perez has obviously been out. We also have Fletcher, Beckham, Lampard, Dave all been out as well. Um, it depends, and Stevie G obviously has been out as well, but it depends when they're actually going to be releasing these I thought that they'd release these during the Euros, but it seems to be that they're a little bit behind. So, any of the cards that you see here that haven't been released, like uh, Varane, uh, Scolzi, Rummy, any of these cards that haven't been released yet, they will probably tie in either next Monday, or else they could come in a double pack Thursday, or else they could be for launch. These players could be players that carry over onto eFootball 2025. And we'll get into that in a future video, but essentially it would be like a veteran bonus that if you have certain players in your squad, maybe you have 10 boosters, you will get a free booster at launch for eFootball 2025. I don't know. But yeah, I definitely do think that they will probably do a couple of bits and pieces like that. Let me know what you guys think. As of now, lads, I do think the transfers are obviously going to be the big one, um, the summer transfers. And then obviously in 20 days or 21 days time, that's going to be replaced with these. There'll probably be a new selection there. I would say probably partner clubs. So it's like full box Bayern with a manager, full box, you know, Manchester United's new squad with Ten Hag and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, these are going to continue to come. So let me know what you guys think. It's just a quick video on what's coming uh, Thursday. Uh, let me know if there's any hype there. Obviously, we have news as well that UFL is coming on the 5th of September if you pre-order the game. Um, and I think it's 15 quid to pre-order the game with, a, with like a starter pack. So you'll be able to play EUFL. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. I have a video on that as well. But let me know what you guys think. Is there hype there for eFootball 2025 on your behalf? Are you just kind of waiting to see with not much hope? Uh, because I do think he football 2025. I honestly think this is this is the biggest year yet for Konami in terms of they have to kind of deliver this year uh, in terms of the longevity of the series going forward. I think they need to really lay down the foundation for where eFootball is going to be for eFootball 26, 27 and really embrace Unreal Engine um you know with 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 what they're doing so don't forget to subscribe we will see you tomorrow for a live stream until then peace